Dragon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like one of the greatest of all time, so that was pretty cool to see him at his own gym. Way cheaper than actually getting an Airbnb in Barcelona. So that's what we chose here. We're in the main street and it's a lot busier than we thought. This is not some random outside little city, it's actually kind of big. <laughs> There's a lot of people out. Okay, we're playing a game where we get four turns to find a restaurant. On the fourth turn, whichever tree we're on, we're gonna eat at the restaurant that's there. Which way, which way? I believe this way because we can have a look at things that are interesting. <laughs> didn't really work out exactly like we had hoped. There's a lot of restaurants we passed in hopes of finding another one on the last street we turned on, but there was only one very expensive restaurant on the last street. So now we're going back in our same route to revisit some of the ones we saw in the first place. Okay, we're at Classic Cafe. They have like tapas and burgers and plates and stuff, so we're hoping this one will be good, even though it has a one-star review on Google. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shop right before it closed and I got cafe and chocolate negra. <laughs> <laughs> I also got coffee and then stracciatella. Mm. And then I got pistachio and lemon. The lemon's really good. It's very good. And then I got festival chicharrone and horchata. Both flavors I've never had before. But it's a it's a five star gelato rather than a one star dinner. For sure. Good rally. Good mm -hmm. rally. So 
So something we've learned that's kind of crazy is that Spain has three or four different languages that are like official spoken languages. So one is Basque in the northern part. One is Catalan, which is here, which I didn't even realize they spoke or that it was a language. And then three is Spanish, obviously, uh, and English. I don't know, I just think that's kind of cool that they have so many unique regions within Spain.